All right, jig is dropping down. Oh, here's fish. That's looking very perch-like. Coming up off the bottom like that. There we go. Nope, oh, it's, yes it is a perch. Those perch always come up off the bottom like that. Little guy. All right, let's send him back. There he goes. So today I'm gonna do a video looking at if I can identify fish down to the species using sonar. And that one I, I got correct. And I get asked this a lot, like, can you tell what species of fish there is on the graph? And you can't just tell by size or shape, but you can definitely tell by behavior and how that fish came up off the bottom rapidly. Uh, sort of down along the bottom and then straight up to the lure and bait is very typical of perch. So today I'm gonna make a video where I'm going to make my best guess on what that fish species is. This is a multi-species lake. There's bass, perch, crappie, bluegill, and trout in here. Ooh, looks like there was something down there near the bottom. And uh, make my guesses and tell you why I think it's that species and we'll see how accurate I am. Okay, there's something on the bottom there. See that? See how slow that is coming up? My guess is that's going to be a bass, as slow as it is, coming up. See how slow it's just taking a look at it? Ooh, it took a bit. It bit at it. Let's try again. It might be a bluegill, but my first guess is going to be bass. Ooh, that's another. I think it's bluegill the way it, it smacked at it. But I didn't catch it, so I can't verify. But it really slowly came up and looked at it. That's more typical of bass and bluegill. They, they are more methodical. They come up and kind of really take a strong look at something before they bite it. Especially under the ice. Here comes something up. That's very perch-like. There we go, we got it. Oh no, that's a bluegill, so I was wrong. Bluegills will sometimes rise up from the bottom like that. It's pretty bluegill. So, I'm, I'm one for two. I got the perch right, but not the bluegill. Pretty little dude. More typically, bluegill will come up and stare at it before they strike. They'll come up off the bottom like that, or horizontally. They usually stop, they pull short and do a couple pecks. That guy was committed. Oh, here comes one fast. Ooh, man, I, judging how that one behaved, it behaved just like that last bluegill did. A perch wouldn't come up and grab it that fast. They will swim up to it fast and stop. Straight up off the bottom. Here he comes. Look, nothing now he's staring at that thing. Like a bass would, yeah. I should have called it out loud, that's what I was thinking. See how he swam up fast and he just stopped there? That is very typical of largemouth bass. All right, so I can't take credit for that one since I didn't make a guess, since I was a coward. But my gut was telling me bass based on that. But they rush up and then they just stop and they're like, ooh, here's that food. Here we go. I'm gonna say, ooh, came up and looked at it and left. I'm gonna say bluegill. Let's see if we can get him to come back. There we go, got it. Yeah, I got that one right. Nice one too. Bluegill. Bluegill, they're real skittish like that. They uh, come in, take a look, and they're like, oh, I don't want that, never mind. And they'll come back. Very typical bluegill behavior. All right, I'm not doing too bad. I've got two out of three guesses right. I would have been even more accurate had I guessed on that bass. Bluegills are really sketchy sometimes. Like they'll come in and if you jig, sometimes you just jig a little bit and they spook and then they come back. They're like, oh, 
it moved and then they come back and like, okay maybe I'll bite that whereas all the other species tend to stay there even if you're jigging it they won't like dart away like that real fast oh I'm gonna say bass on this one the way it's just staring at it there he comes back it's looking very bass like to me Let's see if I got it oh I'm wrong it's a perch there we go perch will stare too but I thought for sure that was going to be a bass alright didn't get that one right sometimes you win sometimes you don't it's kind of a fun game though that's why multi-species lakes are fun because you're like oh you never really know what you're gonna get i'll try and do a best out of 10 see how well i did oh i didn't get it wait wait it was chewing on that thing i'm gonna say perch So just tap, 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 you know? That's pretty perch-like. Bluegills tend to thunk it. I don't know if he took my bait or not. Let's check. He... no, he didn't get on my bait. Anyway. So much ice on my line. It's so cold this morning. Get down through there. That's what all that debris is, is ice that came off my line. I set the hook see my jig down below it well, there's something right there coming up off the bottom okay that's looking very perch like to me it's just that's yeah, I'm gonna still say perch the way it's just hovering underneath it ogling it and every time I move it it comes back and looks definitely perch I think it's a perch ah, yes I was right it's a perch that's just what perch do they come up off the bottom quickly stare at it maybe tap it a few times and then they head back down so three for five okay a little redemption there Ooh, here comes somebody that uh, looks very perch like yep Another perch. Got wrapped on my transducer, unfortunately. There we go. Another perch. Like I said, those perch always come up swiftly from the bottom, stop, peck, and then usually take it in the next Ooh. bite or two. Little guys, but not too big. I'd say these are perch. Yep. I saw two of them. There's another perch. Up fast from the bottom, then stop. That's perch. So far, I've been pretty accurate. I've messed up a little bit here and there. Not too bad. I'm hoping to get a trout on here so I can show you that. Trout come in very quickly and move very fast. They don't stop moving. Oh, here comes a fish. I want to say this is a bass. Ooh, I missed it just by how it came up and slow. There we go, got it. Yes, I got that right. Check that out, bass. All right, I'm on a roll. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah, those bass will rush in and just stare. Stare, stare, stare. A bluegill will rush in sometimes and then they'll peck hard, like thump it. Whereas a bass will just sit there and stare, stare, stare. They don't peck it, they just take the whole thing in their mouth in one go. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look how slow that's coming up. Oh, I'm gonna say that that was a bluegill, but I missed it. By how slow it came up. And then tap, tapped. Like a perch will tap it, but a, a perch tap is like harder to detect, whereas a bluegill tap, you got no doubt there's a fish knocking on your door. Since he just stole all my bait, I can get down there again and bring him back. It's hard to say. 
can't can't verify unless I uh, catch. So. Okay, here he comes up. I'm gonna say this is that same fish. But if it's a bluegill, I'll be fair. Yep, it is a bluegill. <laughs> yeah. I figured it was a bluegill based on how it was uh, behaving. So. Got that one right too. I'm on a roll. Oop, there's fish chasing it. Ooh, that might be a trout the way it was behaving. How it came in fast and chased it. I think it's gonna be a trout. It is a trout. I got that right. You see how that it came in and was real fast and never really stayed still? That's really classic behavior for a rainbow trout. You have those trout, they react real energetic, right? They they don't sit still like other fish. They come in, swipe, exit the cone, come back in, swipe again. It's very typical behavior for trout. They're, they're probably the easiest to separate from everything else. Now, I definitely can't separate trout species, but I can separate trout from other panfish pretty readily. Let's do one more. Call it quits. I feel like I'm doing pretty good today. I think I've only missed a couple, but the majority of them I've gotten right. All right, well, that was a fun little video to do, just seeing if I could guess a fish's species by what they look like on sonar. It's not so much the signal itself, it's the behavior and location that I'm using. And uh, generally, you know, I'm surprised at how accurate I am, especially in these multi-species lakes. Unfortunately, I have to stop filming because it's like negative six. All of my cameras have completely failed. Uh, the batteries are fully charged and normally I could get a full day on the ice, but uh, they have just completely failed in this really extreme cold. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.